The first of two ATP World Tour 500 level events took place this week with the China Open in Beijing. World number one Rafael Nadal was back at the scene of a tournament victory in 2005 and took time away from his preparation to meet the tournament's ball kits. I love to, to share this moment with, uh, with the kids and I love this, these jokes, no? so uh, we enjoy it and uh, I think they are doing uh, very good work on court and it's, it's great to spend that time with them. It got better for the Chinese juniors, treated to a coaching masterclass. Doing a clinic here for, for the, for the Rafa Nadal Academy is something that I enjoy a lot and uh, the kids I think had fun. No? There are some good kids, kids playing very well and yeah, it was, uh, it was a great activity. Around the grounds, the Chinese fans were able to meet their heroes. When you come, you see all those fans, you know, they are all passionate about, you know, to seeing you practice this, everything matches, so it's, it's, it's great, you know, so enjoying that moment and um, I hope it's going to be even more and more. Like the fans in China actually, like, they were very unique because, you know, last year my brother arrived, he got plenty of presents, this year we both got some little statues and presents and gifts and there I think uh, they're really like unique fans and they're, they, they're very loyal fans I feel like and it's always so much fun coming back because like they come here watch your practice they know actually what time you practice the following day so it's uh, it's very great. On court the Emirates ATP race to London was heating up. Pablo Correno Busta arrived in Beijing at number eight in the race the final qualifying spot but with six players within 1,000 points of the Spaniard it's tight at the top. I have the, the opportunity to be in, the, in London, so I, I want to, to be there and I try to be at 100% this tournament. It's four or five tournaments uh, to the end of the, of the year and then I hope to be there. I mean, five more weeks to the end of the year, anything can happen. So this is, uh, this is something that is so, ex that's so exciting. That's why you play tennis for, for, those, for those kind of moments. And, you know, if I make it, this is going to be like a great appreciation of, of my work throughout the whole year. And that's uh, obviously that's the goal right now. You know, with a bit of experience from the past, I mean, I'm taking the situations a bit differently. But, uh, you know, I'm still, still in that race and uh, looking forward for a couple of last uh, weeks of the season. Then there's the Emirates ATP race to Milan. Current number two, Andrei Rublev, was hoping for a good run in Beijing to secure a spot at the next-gen ATP finals. The guys who is eight, nine, uh, and for them uh, it's less time. Uh, they feel that this is coming, that uh, maybe pressure or something. But I hope I'm safety. <laughs> I hope uh, I'm not gonna drop to nine or eight till the Milan, so we'll see what happens. I can play with the good guys, I can uh, compete with them. That uh, Now it's time to be more like a stable, you know, no, no, because I have so many ups and downs, you know, like I'm like uh, sometimes uh, like a roller coaster, you know, so I need to find this balance to continue to work and this is the main thing. A star-studded event on a very grand stage. The second biggest tournament in China, promised to live up to its billing. This year we had an especially strong men's field, headlined of course by the number one player in the world, the one and only Rafa Nadal. Four players in the top 10 and nearly half of the top 25. The season is not over yet. Obviously there's still a lot of big events and Beijing is one of them. So hopefully I can continue playing the, the best tennis that I can play for myself and uh, we'll see how far I can go or how many titles I can still win. I always seem to obviously play pretty well during this week, um, especially towards the end of the year. Everyone's you know, a little bit tired. You know, everyone's trying to just go about their own thing, keep pretty relaxed and just, you know, just get through it. And, you know, I feel like I've done a pretty good job this week. Beginning of the season has been so, so important for me to, to be confident again. A long time without winning here. But yes, always happy to be back here in this, in this country. Fans are always uh, very emotional, so I, I enjoy, you know, and I, I'm going to try to play my best. And let's see if, I, if I'm able to do it, I hope so. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, set your watch for the Shanghai Rolex Masters. And he's next-gen dynamite. It's Denis Shapovalov. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.